Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be just an eye tutorial. My girl Miriam Skinner, who's always coming through in the comments, commented on my lash video and asked if I could do a tutorial on the makeup that I was wearing. So the actual face products are just what I use like every time I do a tutorial pretty much, but I know that I've never done an eye look like that before so I figured I would take the time to really explain it. It's super simple, beginner friendly, really great for like an everyday kind of look. So I'm just going to use all of those same products that I used on that day and let's go ahead and get started. Oh, one more thing before we get started. Um, if you're new here, go ahead and smash that subscribe button because I do upload three times a week and I also live stream so you don't want to miss those. Make sure you guys have your notifications on. Okay, now really let's get to it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, first things first, you always want to use your primer. I love this one, the Smashbox 24 hour photo finish primer. If you've been around here, you've heard me talking about it for so long and you're probably sick of hearing about it, but this one will not fail you at all. It will make your makeup stay on, your eye makeup, I mean, it ain't going nowhere. And honestly, the best part is that a little bit goes a long way with this one. All you gotta do is use your finger, smooth it out, and um, try and make sure that you get the most transparent covering. You really don't need a lot with this one. And you wanna make sure that you also bring it up into your transition area, just so that, you know, when we blend out those transition colors, they also get that primer love as well. Now we're gonna go ahead and set this with a flush toned eyeshadow. I usually tend to use quite a few, but today I'm using the shade Puree from the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. This is such a good shade. It works as a transition shade. It works as just a flesh toned setting shade. It has so many different purposes. Okay, so once you dusted it all over, you feel like you've covered everything a decent amount, don't forget up here in your transition area and also near your lash line. Um, then we can go ahead and move on to the actual eyeshadows that I used for that video. Now you want to take a fluffy blending brush. So for the first shade, I use this one right here. It's called Summer Yum in that same Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. Okay, so you wanna take that transition and stay above your crease with that. So since it is the first transition color, you know, you just wanna make sure that you kind of marry it between the space where right where you might have your concealer from your brows or just under your brows and right where your crease is. If you have hooded eyes like me, you can make a pseudo crease. Um, just pick somewhere that's above your natural eye line for that to be, so that way it'll show up a bit more. But this is just the first color, so don't freak out too much about placement. Now, when you get to the edge of the eye and you have as little product on your brush left, you can just kind of wing it out a little bit to kind of create a nice flare and accentuate your eye shape. So now I'm gonna jump into another good palette of mine. This is the Tarte Pro palette, and I'm using the color um, right here, and this is called Whimsy. Now, for this shadow, I really want to make sure I use a more precise blending brush. So I'm using the MAC uh, 217, and this one has kind of like a flatter shape. It's still a blending brush, but I can get really in there and get a little bit more precise with my blending. So now I'm gonna kind of use a um, cut crease kind of technique and kind of go in right where that transition color ends. So notice guys how I'm still keeping it above my actual lower part of the lid. We're just keeping it in that pseudo crease area. Now I'm taking a flat brush and I'm going into the color Bold. And I'm basically gonna pack this on the lower lid area. And now you see we've got a nice fade from light to orange. Now I'm taking my first blending brush that still has a hint of that orange on there, and I'm basically gonna use that to just do a little bit more blending in between the colors. So 
So I went and finished uh, the other eye off camera, but now I'm ready to go ahead for the liner step. So I've got my Inglot uh, gel liner in the number 77. This is like one of the most matte black gel liners and I just love it and I use a lip brush from Sephora to go ahead and create that nice uh, look. Now for this liner look, what we're going to do is we're not going to do like a crazy winged liner. It's going to be a nice smooth liner with a baby wing. Like we're going super, super baby on this. <laughs> um, sometimes it's hard not to get carried away when you're doing a winged liner, but you just want to take your time and really make sure you get that nice smooth line across your lash line and then do a baby wing at the end. For the mascara step, I always like to like amp up my lashes a little bit because they're just so naturally tiny. And I use the L'Oreal Voluminous Base. And this is basically like a lash primer. It goes on white and you just kind of put it on, you let it dry just a bit, maybe like 30 seconds, and then you put on your mascara. For mascara, we've got the Bobbi Brown. It's just her smoky eye mascara. Honestly, for me, the type of mascara doesn't really matter. Um, just as long as we can darken the lashes up so that when we put falsies on top, it looks natural. Right here, I've got these little flutter lashes in the style Intoxicating. They're so cute, super flirty. I love them, they're my favorite style. Hey, so I went ahead and just did the rest of my makeup off camera because I really just wanted to focus on the eyes and you can see the lashes really, really make them just like pop and look really beautiful and feminine. Now, if you're curious about what else I'm wearing on the rest of my face, you can go ahead and check out the description box. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this type of tutorial. Sometimes I like just doing eye tutorials because I feel like I can take more time to explain things for you guys especially if you're a beginner um, you know I'm no expert myself I just love playing around with makeup and sharing my experiences with you guys but don't forget to check out my makeup tutorials playlist I've got some really amazing looks in there if you you know feel inspired and you want to recreate some of them please go ahead and tag me on Instagram and I will see you guys in the next video I love you guys bye